Hey, Coach Green. So you guys come here and you dominate St. Edward. Uh, mm -hmm. LaSalle, they're obviously shorthanded, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, tough duel last week against Blair, yeah. right? It's dual season, right? Yeah. Um, you know, that's what makes this sport great is traveling, matching up one-on-one -on -one with teams, coming here wrestling a couple tough Ohio teams. Blair's here with us, so fans love it. It's a great, great atmosphere at Blair last week, so we really need this to help our sport grow. So you guys look at that, you know, you win the Ironman, they beat you in the duel, and then the deciding factor is obviously going to be preps, right? It's time to go to preps, yeah. Um, you know, it's a little different atmosphere there. I went back to that individual tournament. We obviously wanted to get them in the duel, uh, but uh, now our only recourse is to come back and build on what we've learned the last couple of weeks and, and, and win down the stretch. You know, uh, looking at you and Coach Antonelli's reactions to a lot of the ways that they officiate things in Ohio, I can't believe you guys keep coming back to Ohio to wrestle. Well, St. Edward is a, is a wonderful program, you know, and Heffern has a nice job. And, and, you know, I mean, it's different. And I think we, we covered it with our guys coming in. And sometimes you see some things there that you're kind of like, wow, um, can't believe that that was called that way. But it's not going to be any different in, in any other place. Theoretically, we could hit some bad wrapping in, in other venues as well. So we got to train through that and accept that we're going to get a little bit of adversity introduced to us from, from officials at every every match, and we got to be better than that, too. Last week, you know, you, you lose a tough one to them. What do you think's the moment? What's the deciding factor for you guys? I know it's every guy going out and fighting and not giving up bonus points and yeah. doing everything right, but what's the deciding factor in that match last week in that dual meet with, with Blair? You know, it's, it's tough. Maybe maybe it happened earlier in the week. You know, maybe it's an injury or, or an illness or something like that, and you know you can't put your, your best team on the mat. Uh, maybe it happened back in the fall um, in terms of having guys banged up that haven't hit the mat yet. So um, we got in there, we got into the gym, we looked at the lineups, we looked at our lineups, we looked at our guys and said, hey, we, we can win this, you know? And uh, didn't get bonus points in a couple places where we thought we were gonna. Had a lead in the match. That, 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 that we wound up losing, but we, we came back in matches too. So, you know, top to bottom, 14 guys didn't get it done last week. Um, we're on, on the right track here, uh, beating St. Ed. And we got Tom Barton coming up, got, got Bergen Catholic, got, got Pope John. So there was lots of other challenges for everyone to contribute and, and put our best team together finally. Bo Bartlett, didn't see him today, didn't weigh in today. Is he here today? And uh, is everything okay? Um, he's fine. Yeah, um, we've been hit with some illness, you know. Um, kept Nick Bazakis out last week, their drill partners. Caught up to Bo this week. Uh, you know, some, some, some just flu like symptoms, things like that, are, are kind of wreaking havoc on our team. And we're finally starting to get healthy, and then another guy goes down. So we're hoping that it's not going to stay that way. All right, when we look at um, you guys, first off, how was the melt? How was the melt? Tremendous, tremendous. Was, was, they, was, they, it, was they, it everything they, I said it would thumbs be? Up, you, you, one thing you can do is, uh, you know, tell me what to anticipate from the guys in the stripes uh, and, and tell me where the good food is here. <laughs> you are two for two. Um, you are two for two, Zeph. I'm not going to ever doubt you again in either of those regards. Listen, man, officiating's hard. I don't want to do it. I'm not going to sure. lie to you. I don't want to do it, but it's like when we're blatantly misinterpreting and, and not applying rules correctly. The, the two hands over the knee rules got to be looked at by whatever state association is saying that. And, and, and I don't know the ins and outs of it, but um, from our standpoint, we knew about it. We trained um, to, to finish where they want us to finish, and we're not, we weren't going to use it as an excuse. Now, there were some other calls that, that happened in every tournament that, that I'm kind of like, whoa, they, you know, stalling was a little bit difficult to figure out, but for the most part, Officiating is, is officiating, and those guys aren't blatantly trying to do anything wrong, and they're working hard. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see where it goes down the line. What are those duels uh, with with uh, Bergen, and what, what are the other ones? We got Pope John coming up on Saturday. We've got Bergen on Sunday, and then Del Barton. We're going to wrestle them as the undercard for uh, Rutgers match uh, you? the next week. So, us and Del Barton and Rutgers at the, the rack. Match. At the rack. Are you serious? Love it. That yeah. is awesome, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. All right, Coach. Uh, you, you done with your melt yet? I am done with my melt. Yeah, that did not last long. I okay. like it. All, All right. right. You got anything else for me? Uh, I do not. No, no. Just excited to be in the, uh, the, the greater Cleveland, Akron, whatever area of Ohio this is again. And uh, enjoying myself. Always great wrestling here. All right. Good luck to you guys. And I can't wait to watch that one before the uh, the, the Rutgers door. Yeah, All right, Coach? Be fun. Yep. Thanks, Coach. All right.